both have mysteriously vanished and no one knows who painted over them. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is looking into who may be responsible. We're from New York, came all the way out here to see Juice World. From near and far, video and photos provided to CBS2 show some of the thousands that came to visit this memorial of Juice World. The American rapper died in 2019 of a drug overdose, his image painted next to the one of DJ Frankie Knuckles. Now, you wouldn't even know they were there. And any piece of artwork that has that kind of power should be protected. LeVar Horde is the founder of Beeline Project, managing a series of murals along Hubbard Street in the West Loop. I was definitely disappointed that we're in a city that does not value art. A huge claim. We asked the Department of Streets and Sanitation if they were responsible. They said no. Union Pacific runs along the same viaduct. They told us they didn't remove it either. On one side, it's gated. On the other, this wall sits next to a parking lot that has security cameras. We reached out to the owner and are waiting to hear back. There are, you know, a few people who've expressed uh, a high level of displeasure with the traffic. Neighbors claim there is more to this story, that they filed multiple complaints about what was going on around that mural before, and they have photos and videos to show us why. It was madness there. A neighbor who asked we conceal her identity provided pictures of parties at the murals dating back to 2020. It's not supposed to be a venue at all. It's not a place for people to be gathering. It's a parking lot. You have no idea who did this. None of us do. And the funny thing is, is that we all wanted so much for this to be changed for something to happen in 2020, in 2021. But in 2022, 2023, nothing's really gone on. Advocates have vowed to repaint the murals. The details still to be determined. In the West Loop, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.